Uh, good morning. Assalamu Peace be upon you. This audio video lesson is about learning and domains of learning. You see, when we are talking about learning, then we are talking about domains of learning. And as you know, there are three domains of learning. One is cognitive, brain, psychomotor, doing something, and affective. The other name for these are knowledge, skill, attitude. And if you want to remember by means of symbol, the symbols are for cognitive C, for knowledge K, for psychomotor P, and for skill S, and for effective A, and obviously attitude also A. So what we talk about domain of learning, we say cognitive, psychomotor and effective or knowledge, skill and effective or CPA or KSA in short form. The knowledge or cognitive domain of learning, it is the information in mind. And one cannot see into the mind. So therefore, to know this domain of learning, whether the student has that, he has to express it by means of a performance. And the performance could be oral, it could be written, or anything else. It is information mind that cannot be seen till student writes or tells. Psychomotor skill, it, it is visible by the act performance of a student, but it is obvious, it needs background of knowledge. An effective is, it is general way of doing something, and obviously, this also has knowledge in the background, that is understood. So therefore, three domains of learning, knowledge, skill, and attitude. Out of all these, possibly the most important and most widely read and discussed is the cognitive domain of learning. Each domain has different levels. For example, if we talk about knowledge, then our cognition domain, initially a student or a person may only read and memorize it without even understanding then he may be able to understand it and comprehend it then it is different thing understanding and comprehending it and then applying it in a real context it is different thing comprehending it and comprehension to an extent that you can break the information in different component and find a relation between them so these are different levels. Similarly, in case of psychomotor skill, initially, when a person is performing a skill, he has to think between the steps of the skill. He may not be fluent between the steps. He may be committing mistakes in that. But then, as the level rises, he reaches to a level of automation in the skill. Similarly, in attitude domain of learning, if a student learning attitude, initial is that he may be able to accept the information related to an attitude, the general way of doing or thinking. Then he may be responding to it. He may be practicing that attitude and a time will come when it will become internalized and a part of his personality. So these are the different levels. Multiple levels of learning Levels of cognitive domain are most important and widely used. Levels of psychomotor and effective domains are less frequently used. So therefore, when we are talking about curriculum and teaching and learning, the levels which are widely used and discussed are of the cognition and the levels of psychomotor and effective domains are comparatively less used. There are two very important classification which describes the levels. 
One is Benjamin Bloom's called Bloom's Taxonomy, which has six levels of learning. Very famous Bloom's Taxonomy. And other is National Board of Medical Education in the United States. It has three levels of learning addressing the cognitive domain primarily. Bloom's Taxonomy level of learning C1 is remembering, meaning by retrieving, recognizing, and recalling relevant knowledge from long term memory. So, there is information long term memory. You can retrieve it, you can recognize something, and you can recall. This can be done in a case if there is a rote memorization of some information, isn't it? C2 is understanding, constructing meanings from oral, written or graphic messages through interpreting, exemplifying, classifying, summarizing, inferring, comparing and explaining. So therefore, if somebody has information and one can comprehend it, then that is a C2 level. C3 is applying, carrying out or using a procedure for executing or implementing what has been understood that is application above that c4 is analyzing breaking material into constituent parts determining how the parts relate to one another and to an overall structure or purpose through differentiating organizing attributing as you see the levels of the domains of learning of knowledge are being elevated after that is evaluation getting, making judgment based on criteria and standards through checking and critiquing and critiquing. And C6 is creating, putting elements together to form a coherent functional whole, reorganizing elements into newer pattern or structure through generation planning and producing. If simply talking what Bloom is talking about, at the lowest level, C1 level, it is simply learning the things by way of rote memorization without understanding, just recalling and C2 level one tends to comprehend it, one can understand it what is written and at C3 level means that one is able to apply what has been comprehended and understood and beyond that level when you are able to, there is an information and there are a lot of information in something and you are able to divide the information into individual packets and you can correlate among them, you can differentiate among them, you can analyze them and then from this you can get new thoughts and judgments. This is basically what it is talking about. Is it pretty confusing? Now if I tell you okay, what you are teaching to the student is it C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, what it is? Now, if you are checking, so this question is of which level? C1, C2, C3, C4, C6? According to Bloom's taxonomy, it is very confusing. This is practically what we see. In order to simplify it, National Board of Medical USA gives three levels of learning c1 is recall c2 is comprehension c3 is problem solving so recall is in the intense recall of facts and figures the student is able to recall the rote memory very easy to understand c2 is it involves obviously recall understanding of a single piece of information or decision about a single piece of information so you have a piece of information, you can comprehend and understand it. Or you have a single piece of information and from that single vision you can reach to a decision. And obviously then above that is everything is problem solving. So therefore, if you talk about Bloom's taxonomy, then some or the other, C4, C5, C6, they all fall in problem solving. Even C3 of Bloom's falls in the problem solving or we can say it definitely touches the problem solving.
it is very important to tell a student what you're teaching it is a width level or once you're putting in an examination then what question you are asking is it is of which level because this is how the table of specification and examination is determined it is predetermined for example okay 70 percent of the question will be problem solving and 15 percent would be of the recall c1 level and so much c2 level it's tos you have to make questions accordingly similarly if you're promoting problem solving then the learning outcomes or the learning objective which you are making in the lesson then they should also reflect the problem solving or application so therefore you have to write so once you have to write you have to use words or verbs because the meaning of this word and verbs is going to tell you at a glance this learning objective is of C1, C2, C3 level or a psychomotor level or attitude domain of learning or psychomotor domain of learning. Not only this thing, according to TOS, you will be knowing that this question is assessing the psychomotor domain of learning or the attitude domain of learning or cognitive domain of learning or it is assessing more than one domain of learning which usually it is then what is the percentage of each so it is a verb and a noun that describe the performance domain of learning and level of domain of learning this is the significance of off word in learning outcome or instruction objective statement as you know this usually to end by the end of this course the students will be able to do this so able to do is a verb or a word let me give you an example for c1 list enumerate define identify etc these are the word which talk about c1 Describe, explain, illustrate, interpret, that explains C2. For problem solving, diagnose, manage, implement, use a method, differentiate, implement. If these words are coming in a question, then obviously C3 level of the student is being assessed. And if these words are coming in learning objectives, then it means that C3 level of the knowledge domain of learning is being taught. Or with these words you determine that you are checking a psychomotor domain of learning or you are teaching a psychomotor domain of learning. The same, same is with effective attitude. For example, for psychomotor, demonstrate show for effective attitude, identify, rate, rank as belief, opinion, enjoyable, etc. This is just to give you an example of learning outcomes. So therefore, the types of learning outcome structure objectives, they relate to the learning in cognitive, psychomotor, effective domains of learning, and their knowledge objectives, psychomotor and effective objectives i hope this session helps you in learning have a good day enjoy the life and continue smiling ever bye bye